We sifted through the criminal complaint filed today against Jokar Sarnayev and learned that investigators found chilling evidence inside the accused terrorist dorm room at UMass Dartmouth. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live now from that campus where students are holding a vigil right now in honor of the victims. Susan and Mike, you can see behind me hundreds of students have gathered here on campus. They tell me they're still in a state of disbelief, but they say they're trying to get back to normal. At UMass Dartmouth, there are signs that something has changed. Flags flying at half staff, a campus wide moment of silence, and students buzzing about a former classmate, one of the accused Boston Marathon bombers. There's a real eerie feeling in the halls thinking that we went to school with this guy. That, like, one day you see him walking down the hall, then the next day he's the world's most wanted criminal. Campus officials say Jokar Sarnayev's dorm room in Pinedale Hall is still secured, but the rest of the dormitory has been reopened. We have been assured by federal authorities that the campus is, is uh, absolutely secure and safe. And now we're learning more about what federal agents discovered in Sarnayev's dorm room on campus. According to a criminal complaint against the 19-year-old, the FBI seized from his room, among other things, a large pyrotechnic, a black jacket, and a white hat of the same general appearance as those worn by Bomber 2 at the Boston Marathon and BBs. He must, must have had some sort of compassion, even though he's an evil being, to not attack here after such heinous crimes. I feel like the tower is gone. It's Everyone's fine now. So again, at this time, there is a vigil going on here at UMass Dartmouth campus. It's being run by students, and it's just a time for them to get together and remember what happened and also kind of just get together over the fact that this did hit so close to home. Coming up new at 6, hear a message from the chancellor, what she had to say in an email to her students earlier today. Live in Dartmouth with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.